in this thread same dude who complains about not getting like customer service sorts of treatment but I don't know why he'd expect that but um, he posts this kind of shit he's kind of just like I don't know he expects customer service and we don't have like customer service we have people who try to make the world a nice place but we're not going to address everything. <sighs> but he's correct here that this bishop can't checkmate that king. There are errors, he says. Well, great. Just don't underpromote to a bishop, but if somehow you get this, sucks for you, but I should try to fix that. That's the point. That I'm ultimately getting to today. This is going to be the third time that I code something to address insufficient material use cases. In particular, the subclass of cases where you have a bishop, the opponent has a bishop, and some other pieces, but those other pieces are all queens and rooks. If they had a pawn, or if they had a knight, this would be different. Um, because a knight can switch colors, so you can checkmate. But if they have all these kinds of pieces, so like if they lack a knight or a pawn, or if they lack a bishop that's on the opposite square color as your bishop, then no checkmate can be constructed, is the rule. Or at least that needs to be the rule. Uh, check out master it pull origin master get check out bishop fortress all right this is so dumb but you're right so okay congrats on being right hope that makes you happy being right Although, I don't understand how it possibly could. Hey, welcome. So... Let's see, where was this? Source slash test? Scala. Uh, we're looking for insufficient mating material test or something. I forget where this test was coded, but we need to add a test. And then demonstrate that this fails the test, and then find a way to fix it. Um, we're making an improvement to... This chess server uh, has this feature for automatic uh, draw detection in some very specific positions. And we need a way to make that work in general. Um, let me take this setup position using it, because this is a bit extreme. Uh, here, let's junk a few of these. Something like that. Alright, and black to move would be this. Um... Oops, sorry, this can't be black to move here. We've got to move our king over one. All right. Um, so, oh, so this draws under the circumstance. Um, so a draw in chess is a split game, a tie, whatever you want to call it. This is where... Um, at the conclusion of a game, neither player gets the point for a win. And this happens under the circumstance where one player cannot win the game. Such as this, this particular contrived position where uh, black uh, was playing with a chess clock, white and black have a chess clock on the side of the board, black's time expires, um, at which point the rules most rule 
rules, uh, at least in terms of tournament rules, would say that um, this does not count as a win for white because there's no way for this bishop to checkmate that king. Even if black cooperates, there's no way to do it. And unfortunately, he's right, this dude, providing feedback. So I've got to go, for the third time in a year, make a coding change to try to fix this. Um, and I'm just trying to remember where all the tests were located. Because it's been a while. Uh, there's anti chess, atomic, variant. Variant test might be it. Yeah, I think it's variant test.java or Scala. So we've got this particular position that I want to test and see if this declares that it's a draw. Um, okay, we've got a insufficient material test here for a bishop. Um, let's add to this another insufficient material test. Um, okay. Wait, what is this position? It says insufficient when called white to move. Is um, that should be black to move, technically. Because black would have been the one losing on time there. Um, yeah. Let's see. if black lost on time then it's not actually a loss because there's no way to win the game with that particular arrangement of material is the point um, do you know how to compile C code with Sigwin I've done it but it's been like 15 years so no um, I don't officially know how to do it, but if you put me in a computer with a room for a week, maybe I could figure it out. You probably need software called GCC, but I'm not sure. Or maybe CMake, or some other sort of compiler. You need some sort of C compiler, um, and then you run the C compiler. But I don't know what the C compiler is called. Or you could write your own, but that'd probably take a while. So you probably want to start with a existing C compiler. All right, so we got that. Um, so if I just want to run all the tests, I think that's how I do it. I should probably get some breakfast while this runs, right? Although I can't imagine the Scala test taking forever to run. Here, let me reload my chat page just in case I'm missing anything here. So there's 54 Scala sources in the test directory, formatting 58. Oh, um, hmm. I guess I did check out a whole bunch of codes. This could take a while to compile. But I don't think this actually took so long to run the tests. 
I think what we're going to find, however, is that this new must auto draw doesn't actually work. In fact, I could probably take the existing draw, auto draw test and remove it in favor of the new one. Um, All right, so bishop test. Oh, this is just testing uh, legal moves and such. The actual uh, assignment of win, draw, or loss on a timeout. Well, you don't win on a timeout, but draw or loss on timeout has yet to, yet to be tested here. So, also at some point I should figure out how to integrate SBT um, in the background while I'm using an IDE. Um, <laughs> Chess Kids iPhone. That's a great test. Uh, yeah, no, I guess some people use special devices. That's funny to see it described here this way, though, as opposed to a particular iPhone brand. So we don't have customer support, but if people are really nice, we'll do what we can to try to support them. All right, so we had 659 tests pass, one test failed. And of course it's my test that's failing. Oh, um, I don't know that. No, it's been like a decade or whatever since I've used Sigwin, so um, I don't know that, unfortunately. I suppose I could actually take this guy's test verbatim. Why not? Let's take that and yeah, I think this is a better test anyway. All right. Um, So now I have to go into this insufficient mating material code and fix the bug, which is going to be delightful. Um, all right. So, wait, let's take one more look at that code. So I want to look for the declaration of this function. Um, okay. Here it is, variant.scala. So, yeah, that's equal to this instance of this thing. Um, which I think is right here somewhere. Here it is. All right. So, apply with color. Here we are. Um, if one player has only bishops, then those bishops cannot win. Um, um, if the opposing player's bishops are on the same color. Um, so yeah, if we're missing pawns and knights, 
Hmm. Yeah, this is becoming a little less trivial. Um. So if we had knights, then a knight can mate if the opponent has a pawn, if the opponent has a knight, if the opponent has a bishop, um, or even a rook. There's a way to contrive a mate there. Um, Here, if the opponent is lacking, um, let's see. I need to break this into two cases here. Right now, this is evaluating to true because the opponent has one or more bishops. Um, and it's not quite that simple. Um, hey, good morning. So I need to figure out how to change this expression for this apply to say, um, well, let's just add a comment right here. To do, opponent has bishops um, wait oh here we go and rather than that filter opponent bishops on same color if our bishop or bishops are all on the same color um, Yeah, that's going to be one hell of a filter, but um, it's doable. Jeez. Um, is empty, there is the boolean expression that needs to be changed. Yeah, we need to do something special if the opponent has bishop or bishops remaining. Well, let's start with one thing here. Um, filter bishop not equal. So, if the opponent has no bishops, Or um, bishops are on different color. I think that's what we're looking for. This big mess here. Or the opponent has a bishop and the bishop's on a different color. Or we have bishops that are on both colors. Returns true, and the only non-king pieces are bishops that cannot capture each other and cannot checkmate. That's not exactly what we're looking for. Not even close. Alright. Um... 
Hmm. It's complicated. Yeah, I've given it some thought. I was just mistaken. And this guy correctly pointed out in the most ridiculous possible manner that um, this is actually a draw. Black could actually have more dark squared bishops than this. Um, the key point is, is does white have a bishop pair that are on opposite square colors? Or does um, the opponent have a bishop that's on the opposite square color of our bishop. Otherwise, um, there's no mate. Um, turns true when only that cannot capture each other. Um, So, I'm just trying to evaluate this. So, this is saying if there are no bishops, return false. Else, if the bishops are all of the same color, um, Right, then it's a draw if the bishops are on the same color, or if there's not enough pieces on the board to deliver the mate. Else, if there are, if the bishops are not of the same color, yeah, no, this is actually correct for um, both atomic chess and standard chess. Wow, all right. Not sure why I thought I had to put atomic there in the first place, but um, or I'm am sure, but I was mistaken. Um, so that was pretty great. Um, how often do I use this function, and can I rename it? Uh, I reused that function in two different variants, so we're not renaming it right now. Okay, well that's good to know. Let's see, the only bishops that remain are bishops that cannot capture each other, and not... Um, this grammatically seems vague. No, this is exact, this is concise as can be. That's fine. Do I spill over column 80? I do. Let's split this then. Um, well, yeah, let's split this description at column 80. So, probably don't need to call this function if there are no bishops, um, for performance reasons. Let's see what we can do here. Um, if rolls remaining are a bishop, oh. If we have exactly a king and one or more bishops remaining. Okay, yeah, this is actually a fine time to call that. Performance won't take a big hit because there aren't very many positions which have a player having only bishop or bishops remaining. Um, yeah, that's a pretty crazy position. I agree. Huh. Now, do I need all of this? I wonder. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, I think this is just as 
uh, precise as it needs to be. Um, arguably, there might be some way to optimize this mess. Um, but, no, actually, I don't think there is. That's funny. Um, yeah, I think this is as good as it gets. That's unfortunate, this filter notation. Whatever, we'll leave this to somebody else to optimize. Um, we'll first verify is this correct. So to that end, we're going to rerun all the tests and make sure we haven't broken anything. Because, you know, this guy will be all over us if we break something. Uh, like, half of the reason I'm streaming this is because I just want to put a note out there. In fact, there is such a note. Um, let's go look this up. Oh wow, I had never realized there's so many things about doors on XKCD. Um, but this is the one we were looking for. Courtesy of XKCD. Uh, so yeah. This is what free speech is about. Um, so if you're going to be somebody who constantly, like, without reserve just to try to say I'm winning the argument or something always escalates stuff to a moderator or to our head developer or whatever like try to be civil come on I'm not a moderator I don't get to like make calls like this but I pity the moderators who do have to make these calls and so also you could probably hear that siren out there I hope everybody's okay um, but yeah, this guy, you don't allow me to answer because you're closing the topic, and it's a lie that I'm repeatedly escalating. You lied! How dare you lie? Sort of thing. And you're threatening me, and I feel so threatened, and... I mean, GitHub is, like, the least conducive space to debate, um, issues... And I get what he's going for here. I am suggesting a simple markdown extension for Lee Chess. Because, you know, whenever somebody has an idea, and just because the idea is logical, etc., really, does not mean that it's simple or free. There are advantages to it, for sure. But Lee Chess is considering like rewriting the entire forum at some point. So, this sort of thing might not be what we're immediately looking for. Like, we're on and off considering just, like, complete revamps of certain sections of the site. There's some years ago we last discussed, you know, maybe we just want to swap out our forum for some other kind of forum. And, I don't know. Like, I get what he's saying, that it's... A pretty straightforward, easy to understand sort of thing. But performance is very important to developers on LeechS, and any added feature has a performance cost. So, anyway, he was escalating things, trying to get Debo involved on all of his suggestions because he's right. Um, that this is doable, it makes some sense. It's just Every time we add a feature, there's always a performance cost to it. So, whatever. Uh, I mean, he's right that it would work. It would look better. But nothing's free. Um, and nobody wants to maintain the code. Missing argument list for... Oh. Alright. Um... Wait, how do I call this function again? Does anybody remember? We need a board. Um, okay, apparently this is the only time I'm calling the function, so... Um, 
Yeah, that, that'll do. So, if all those sets of pieces are empty, or the bishops are on opposite colors, um, now, this is to say if, um, Now, the set is not empty, is it? Because the opponent... I'm sorry, we filtered out all the queens and rooks and bishops. So yeah, that set is empty. So that takes us to the second part of that. Where it checks, do we have bishops that are of opposite color? So I think that's fine. Yeah. What else has this guy provided? I mean... Yeah, that's also funny, like, you should apologize for, like, I read what was actually written in here. There's nothing threatening. Granted, the way that Lee Chess responded was a slightly heavy-handed in terms of, you know, we're trying to have a conversation here. If you want to work with us, we'll work with you. But you can't just go escalating everything to Tebow just because you don't get your way. And we did leave the issue open for civil discussion. But just because you don't get things your way doesn't mean you should file a separate issue every time. Like, we have an issue open. Don't create another one. Uh, sort of thing. Like, let's try to discuss things in an organized way. Not in a way that, like, I don't know. I wonder what this was. This is kind of cool. Double escaping and maybe many page titles. Huh, I don't know. There's a lot of code there. Uh, Tarash. Oh, nice. I'll have to get this. I'm looking forward to it. A simple desktop workbench for chess players and analysts. Yeah, this is really cool. Um... Oh, nice. He actually streamlined this. Um, that's pretty impressive that you can do a Windows build and have things working. All right. 666 tests. Test successful. Perfect. That's a good number of tests to have. Um, all right. Let's see, can I rewrite this so that we can have the word cannot on the top line? So it's just like easier to read or something. Returns true when the only non-king pieces that remain are bishops that cannot capture each other and cannot checkmate. Um... The only really doesn't add stuff here. So, here, let's try for something more concise in English. When remaining non King pieces pieces are only bishops that cannot hey it fits cannot capture each other and cannot checkmate Now, the only would make some sense in this way of writing it, but the we don't have space for. Uh, 
and I'm confused about usage of which versus that. English, which versus that. So, if a sentence doesn't need the clause, use which. If it does, use that. Our office, which has two lunch rooms, is located in Cincinnati. Um, our office that has two lunch rooms is located in Cincinnati. That's interesting. Um, okay, I just feel like the word that is overused, but maybe I got it right the first time. That was hurt. So when you're like the direct object or indirect object, we use the word that. Um, which, note in British English, the word which is used interchangeably with the restrictive that. Uh, common British construction is not strictly incorrect in American English, but is generally afford, avoided, in especially in formal writing. Um, there's also a non-restrictive relative clause, which contains extra information that could be left out right. So, yeah, now I got it correct. Uh, we use that instead of which. Um, I just don't like using the word that but it's correct, so we'll leave it. Um, returns true when remaining non-king pieces are only bishops that cannot capture each other and cannot checkmate. Now, I missed something, didn't I? Um, <laughs> there's a wrinkle here. The opponent could contain, or could have bishops that are on multiple colors. Oh, but if they do, then at least one of those is on the opposite square color of our bishop. Um, that is to say, here, rolls, rolls of color. Okay, this is actually going to work. My goodness, that is confusing. So we're saying that white has one or more bishops, and if black has bishops that are on opposite color squares, at least one of those is going to be on an opposite color square relative to one of our bishops. Even if we have only one bishop, that's still true. So, yeah, this... You can add lots and lots of tests, but this should pass all the tests, so cool. Um, yeah, we passed all 666 tests there, updated a comment. Um, don't really feel like crediting the guy who came up with the test position, but oh well. Get status, get add source, get status. If I can type, get uh, commit. Fortress is actually the wrong word for this branch. So we're going to check out bishop insufficient material. Um, Apply insufficient material check when both players have bishops. That's about as accurate as this can get. Um, so we need to be a bit more restrictive and not immediately give Stockfish the win in this position. Uh, let's see, get remote, get push, 
ship insufficient material. So then we're going to have to go find this on the GitHub. Um, here's the URL for our repo. How am I doing on time? I'm actually just on schedule. That's not bad. All right. That's so ridiculous. Now, hopefully, that doesn't break any of the variants. Um, but I augmented the test and so forth. Um, all right. Well, I guess that'll do. That was fun, wasn't it? It was just delightful. Anyway, um, yeah, you can find that on GitHub. The project's called Scala Chess. Didn't mean to dismiss my browser so quickly here, but I do want to wrap up in a hurry because I've got to I do real work for real people um, and like make sure that um, things keep moving. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. That was fun. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day.